loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. O kayindi pra yesu rani, dai song rani, dai song rani. O kayindi pra yesu rani, pra yesu song rani. Amen. Inu mi dum pe jesu femi, jesu femi, jesu femi. Inu mi dum pe jesu femi. Jesus Femi Pupa. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Amen. 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 Jesus loves everyone in the whole world. Amen. I had two of the greatest weeks of my life left here on July the 4th and flew to uh, Abuja in Nigeria and was with Dr. Mike Wells and Dr. Uh, Dave Baker and Dr. Ken Shin. And we had the first annual uh, Soul Winning Leadership Conference in Abuja and had 40 national pastors that came to the conference. There's, only, there's less than 80 independent national pastors in the whole country of Nigeria. So we thought, thought that was a great start for the first conference. Yeah. Yeah. And the invitation in the last day, 22 young men surrendered to preach yeah. the gospel. Yeah. 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 We had the opportunity of seeing 801 people saved up in that area yeah. while we were in schools and churches. Just a great, great time. And tonight on the video you're going to see, your heart will be deeply challenged. And uh, it was just a great week in my life. Then I got in a car with a preacher and uh, his wife and daughter and another young man. And, and we made a journey down to meet Brother Tim in Abiyokuta. And on the way down, some robbers tried to, to rob us. They got our car stopped and, and uh, tried, to, tried to rob us. But we escaped and got away from them. And got a little bit, maybe 45 minutes down the road. There were three men with weapons that stopped us again. And this time we pulled the car over. And, and uh, the, the pastor of the car, uh, the driver of the car, said... Uh, well, now, we're missionaries, and we're pastors, and we're just coming from a conference in Abuja, headed toward Abiyakuta. And uh, uh, the fellow looked back in the car window by the preacher and, and saw me, the only American there, so he walked around the car and opened my door and said, get out. And you know, when you got a man with a rifle, and he's pointing it there saying, get out, you get out. And so I, I thought, Lord, I'm going to die here in Africa. And, and, you know, they just had told me how the... The, the Muslims there, if they're fanatics, they believe if they don't participate in jihad and kill an infidel, they don't get to go to heaven. And I thought, I'm going to die right on this spot. And you know, it's a strange the things that go through your mind when you think you're going to die. My honest thought was, Lord, I can't die here. I've loaned money to Josh and Dusty and they haven't paid me back. <laughs> so uh, I was standing there just a little, not sure what was about to happen. And the fellow with the weapon took his hat off. And he said, you're really a missionary? And I said, yes. He said, would you pray for me? My name's Matthew. So I put my arm on his shoulder, holding the weapon down, and, and uh, prayed with him. And then we got back in the car, went on. And, and then I got down to uh, Abiyakuta in Lagos and just had an absolutely phenomenal week in my life. I saw more people. There are 14 million people live in the city of Lagos. Uh, they call it purgatory. It's the wickedest place in Africa. And... Uh, uh, I saw God use Brother Tim in such a phenomenal way, and then I had the privilege of, of just being with him, preaching in marketplaces in a destitute home where, where they, the government takes care of folks with leprosy and blind people and lame people and crippled people, and, and uh, we gathered them all up and stood on top of a van and preached the gospel to them and got to the marketplaces and just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these folks gathered together and listened to Brother Tim preach, we got on some boats and went out to a fishing village that has 17,000 people living in stilt houses with 4,000 children. We gathered them as many as we could together. They were on little boats up and down the water looking at a video. We showed them two nights, and, and uh, it was the Jesus film. We showed half of it and then preached to them, and, and uh, uh, then showed the second half and preached. And the king, is that right, the king, is that what you call them? The Bali, who's the village chief, got saved. And just Amen. scores of young people, scores of families got saved. And then uh, just had a phenomenal phenomenal time and then the Lord did just some of the most amazing things. if you'll come this evening and take a look at a brief video I promise you'll never be the same if I was not 62 <laughs> but if I could reverse those numbers I'd go to Lagos and I'd see a million people go to heaven before I died 
Five or six of our teenagers surrendered to the mission field at youth conference this week. I pray tonight that God will call some of you all to Nigeria. Your heart's going to be challenged. Let me just tell one brief little thought. My life was changed in so many ways while we were there. First of all, Brother, Brother Tim bought me this nice dress. <laughs> <laughs> I make this thing look good, amen? <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that uh, we were going out to the fishing village. I had to walk through a, 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 a sawmill where Brother Tim preached and just many, many folks got saved. We got out to the fishing village, but on the way out we had to walk through this muddy long trail. It wasn't as wide as the aisle between the pews here and uh, we went had to step over things it was mud it was dirt you had to step on the stones you could find and we were on our way back and it was pouring down rain and I mean we were just drenched and all the folks that were with them we were singing gospel songs and when we were in the boat it was pouring down rain we sang in ship ahoy and you know and, and all the good songs about making sure the Lord's on board and those kind of things but when uh, when we got back coming down that narrow trail we had to go under a bridge and uh, he preached under the bridge also. You'll see the videos of our services there. And uh, coming back down this narrow trail, water just pouring down. I looked over to the edge. When we stopped this morning, I had us a flashlight. We were trying to keep out of the mud and uh, the glass and things and find the stones. And I looked over and laying underneath the, the uh, bridge, uh, maybe a foot off, off the ground, was a little lady <coughs> holding her baby in her arms. And that was their home. And I stopped there and promised God he'd never hear me complain again. When you see some things tonight, it'll, it'll touch your heart. The Christians you'll see on the film, the members of his church, where Tim pastored at, at Solid Rock Baptist Church there, are some of the finest, most dedicated Christians I've ever met in my life. If you ever have an opportunity to go to a field like Nigeria, you will never be the same. Thank you for praying for us. We saw 2,623 people say, God just did some unbelievable things, and uh, I'll never be the same. Thank you for your love to us and for being a church that follows our pastor and has a heart for missions and for people, because I'm so glad that Jesus loved me.